Imagine if you got chased by a single lion. Okay. Would you get scared? Or imagine if you were surrounded by a thousand or a million of giant ants. Oh, hell no! What would you do? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Predators, to be honest, are very strong even if they're alone. But it's a group that makes them even stronger and more powerful. For today's video, we will bring you eight unbelievably strong pack hunter animals in the wild. Number one, lion pride. Among all big cats, lions are the only social animals that live in a group called a pride. Living in a pride makes their hunting a lot easier and less dangerous than alone. Prides can have three, up to 40 members of lions and lionesses together with their cubs. Each of them plays a different role in their pride. Usually, the lioness or female lions are ones who do the hunting. Because they're smaller and lighter than the male lions, allowing them to run faster when chasing prey. It may look like the female lions do all the work in the pride, but the males also play an important role, even though they eat more than the female lions who usually bring the food to the pride. Male lions or the alpha male eats first of their food. Reasonable enough because male lions are the ones that guard and protect their pride and territory and they need to stay strong and healthy in order for them to protect the pride. Males also guard the cubs while the lionesses are hunting, and they make sure that the cubs are healthy and get enough food so that when they grow up, especially the male cubs, can help the alpha male protect the pride from an intruder who wants to take over in their pride. This is one of the reasons why lions become the king of the jungle because they are the only family of big cats who live in a group. Second largest cats living as a group are most likely impossible to get defeated by other big cats. Number two, hyena clan. Spotted hyena as a group are called a clan. Just like lions, the spotted hyenas are highly social animals. Each clan can have a member of six up to 100 members. The bigger the hyena clan, the larger the prey they are capable of taking down as their food. The smaller the clan is, the smaller animal prey that they usually target. These animal has a very strong and powerful jaw that's capable of crushing bones with ease. These powerful animals may be strong and efficient hunters, but they are sometimes lazy when hunting for their food and prefer to scavenge from other predators' foods, like lions. They will outnumber these lions and try to poke it and drag it away from its food until it gives up and walks away. Number three, a pack of wild dogs. Wild dogs as a group are called a pack. These animals are significantly smaller than hyenas and lions, but do not underestimate the capabilities of these animals as a group, because they're like piranhas of the land. They're very fast and annoying, capable of poking their prey while coming from many different directions, from the front and behind and from side to side, making it an efficient hunter as a group. These wild dogs eat their prey alive, because unlike bigger predators like tigers who are capable of taking down its prey in just a single bite, well, unfortunately, these wild dogs do not have that kind of capabilities. Instead, they poke their prey together as a group and eat it alive. Very hard for the prey, but that's how it works. Number four, wolf pack. Just like wild dogs, wolves as a group are called a pack. Wolves are very social animals. They live and hunt together as a group, but unlike other animal groups, 
Wolves care about their numbers more than any other group of animals. They protect the old and the weaker members of their group, making sure that they can eat their fair share of food before the other stronger ones. Wolf packs plan their attacks very carefully, and everyone has different roles to do to make each and every hunt a successful one. Wolves are very intelligent animals. When confronting other animals, they know whether it's worth it to fight or if it's better to run and give up. Number five, Cheetah Coalition. Cheetahs as a group are called a coalition. Most of the time, female cheetah are the ones who are solitary, who live on their own. While the male cheetahs are the ones who typically live as a group, called a coalition. Once they reach their adulthood, the cheetah brothers live together for life, hunting together and having each other's back right until their last breath. And unlike lions and leopards, which are highly territorial species, cheetahs are very much welcome to accepting outsider cheetahs into their group. Cheetahs as a group are very good hunters, capable of taking down weaker or injured prey. Together, they make hunting much easier and less dangerous than hunting alone. Number six, tiger streak or tiger ambush. We all know that tigers are solitary animals. That means that they usually live and hunt on their own. But did you know that there's a very small percentage of these animals in the wild who choose to live in a group called a tiger streak or tiger ambush? It is very rare to find a tiger streak in the wild or most likely a female tiger together with its cubs is already called an ambush. Or maybe a lot of tiger cubs are forced and grew up all together into unnatural situations where they have to share or stay under a certain area in a man-made environment, living all together just like a very large animal zoo. Number seven, Piranha Shoal. Piranhas, as a group, are called a shoal. Piranhas are well known for their razor-sharp teeth that they use to tear apart their food easily and have a reputation for having a huge appetite. In fact, their name Piranha comes from the Brazilian language that means toothfish. Did you know that not all piranhas eat meat? or are carnivorous? Some species are actually vegetarian. This kind of fish is banned in many countries as an aquarium pet. Why? Because these fish are invasive and very dangerous if mishandled. And if thrown in a lake, they will reproduce very fast and may actually infest that specific lake and can become very dangerous and threatening those people who live near the lake. Number eight, ant colony. Ants as a group are called a colony. There are different types of species of ants, but one characteristic they all possess is that they can't live alone. Just like all animal groups, the ant colony plays different roles in their group. They have a queen, the male, the workers, and the soldiers and all of them have their individual role to do. What we usually see out there are the workers. They go out and find food. Once they've found one, they send a signal to other workers near the area until the signal goes to the entire worker force. And within a few minutes, you can see lots of workers forming a straight line heading up to the location of the food. Whether it's sugar, bread, candy, or even a live insect which requires a lot of workers to take down, they'll bring it home. And that's it for eight unbelievably strong pack hunter animals in the wild. So which of these eight did you like most and why? Comment it down below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Thank you.